Panda. Parmi les Um, I once owned a club called Niche. Oh yes, in Rosebank. You know, in Rosebank. Capital um, Underground. Capital. You know. Mm. I mean, I, I spent so much time in Capital. You know, as a promoter, Foolish Thursdays. We made so much money there. We did great things there. We got Foolish there. Mm. Um, but I, I then invested a lot of money yeah. in building Niche. I wanted to tell you that was a bad idea. Hundred percent. You should have told me before. Just like I should have told you a lot of things before. <laughs> before you fucked up, I should have come and said, "No, no, I don't do that." You know. Um, so, so, so that was that was not a smart idea, right? But it's it's the guy in me, it's the entrepreneur in me, it's the guy who wants to try new things in me that that did all of those things, right? But also, I knew the moment I did it. It's just that sometimes you can't get out immediately. The moment I did it, I knew that okay, oh, this is not such a good idea. Mm. So I actually spent more time trying to rectify and get out of it than trying to make it work. If that mm. makes any sense, right? It's not a good place to be, especially when you've used your money. The good thing about me is I never used anyone else's money. So I don't have people coming to me for their monies. You know what I'm trying to say? But it was so bad. I mean, I used to get death threats, you know, because I own that place. Um, From other club owners? I don't know. Like people, I mean, the one, the one time I was, in fact, twice this has happened. One time I'm driving from Niche going home. You know, you stay behind, you cash up, you yeah, know, you, yeah, yeah. you, 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 and you guys the accounts pumping. and blah, blah. And wow, we're pumping at some stage, you know. I'm going home, I can see the car is following me. I'm on, you know, you go on um, on Republic, no, yeah, I'm smart in the Republic. I used to stay in the West Rand there. Um, and a car comes through. This car that I think is following me comes and cuts me off, right? There's four guys in the car. One guy comes out. He's got a gun. I'm alone. I'm going home. Right, um, and the guy, one of the guys in the car, says, "Hey, Moran, Pella, how about a choli ba waka choli bi?" This guy comes to me, "Are show ban, are show, are going to choli bi, kare hagin na choli bi." Says to me, one of the things that shocked me, even today, like I shake when I think of it. He says to me, "Why ba batla root cliche?" That means why do they want us to kill you? I couldn't even ask Bomang, Bakukai. I don't know why. This is a warning. I drove. I couldn't even drive home. I like literally was shaking while I was driving home, and I knew that what I've suspected about this business is is right. Like I shouldn't be in this. This is not. This is not me. You know, it's not me. I made a terrible business decision, a terrible life decision as well, because it was a matter of life and death when it comes to that. Um, and I obviously later found out there's all sorts of other things that are happening in there. I mean, the place is not there anymore now. Um, I, I obviously told my mom and you know those close to me that look, and I've put all that money in there, but I'm actually going to walk away because it's actually not worth it. It's not worth my life. It's not worth it. I'll tell you one thing, right? That I think we missed earlier on. This happened in 2015, right? Other than obviously me wanting to grow and going from 947 to Capricorn FM, it partly is because I wanted to leave Joburg, right? We never touched on that, ne? It was partly because I actually had to leave Joburg um, because of things like those, partly, not all of it, obviously, right? But partly I needed to to go, you know? Um, and yeah, so uh, uh, that, that was, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie to anyone and say that was a gravy train. Yeah, oh, you owned Nature, was so cool. All oh, the mics were hanging from the roof, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we designed all this stuff. I gave it the name. That's my name. I came up with it. Like, did the design for all this stuff. I put money in there, you know? But it was a terrible thing to do, you know what I mean? And... To some extent, I'll never forgive myself from do, for, for doing it because at the time, me and my family, my mom and my sister and my um, nephew were thinking of sort of starting a family business, which I was going to fund. Guess what Tolibi does? I took that money that we we're going to use for that and I put it in a niche mm. and all of it went. Damn. Right? 
So that's the one thing we, we, we never spoke about. So, so yeah, so, 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 so you do make some terrible decisions in life. Um, they actually do help you grow, right? But some lessons can come in yeah, different ways. You know what I mean? Dog. The lesson could have come in a different that, way. That, that's the underworld, dog. It didn't, it didn't have to come in that. Yeah, I knew. I knew I was way, way in too deep. Like way beneath my... I couldn't even... I mean, my feet weren't even touching <laughs> the floor or the ground. You know what I mean? Like I was just floating and I could tell her, oh, cool. I'm going in way too deep here and I won't so be able to get you could have been gone out. that day? 100%. I could have been gone on that day. Fuck. Um, could have been gone on that day. It was in... Uh, in November of uh, 2015. And it's because your club was doing well and they don't want that. You're taking yeah. money from them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Partly, yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I can't pinpoint where the person is or whatever the case is, but that happened, you know? That's uh, crazy. I've never, I, I, you've never, never told me that. I don't tell a lot of people that. Shit, um, bro. My family knows. One or two friends know. Uh, but yeah, I sort of, the hiatus was partly because of that, but back now no, i'm happy hectic and i'm doing what i love yeah shit man we ain't, we ain't going back to niche fuck niche <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck niche